charged into the Lloyd George Federal Building, that's where Senator Reid's office is, and at the time, uh, Senator Ensign's building, um, and wounded a federal marshal and killed the court security officer. So Wicks was a felon and he used a gun, bought at a gun show with no background check and no questions asked. So we're gonna play a video real quick, um, and then we're gonna have Teresa tell you a little bit more about this story. So this was an example up in northern Nevada at a gun show where a private investigator went in and actually went around to all of these different vendors and you saw what happened in Reno. This happened in our own state. This is not like it's somewhere crazy. This is right here. Well, it is crazy, but it's, somewhere, it's here, you know? And so we really need to be paying attention to this. This is the same type of situation which happened with this other gun dealer where the, the man sold the gun. And so I'm going to... Talk, I'm going to have Teresa tell the story about what happened at the federal building, and then we'll move into some other information. On January 4, 2010, Stanley W. Cooper, a 72-year-old grandfather, retired Metro Police officer, and longtime security guard employee at the Lloyd George Federal Building, was shot in the chest and killed by uh, Stanley Wicks. I wish we had a picture of him. It means something to me because um, when I saw the day that happened and I saw his picture flashed on the television screen, I thought, I know that man. I've seen him. He smiled at me. Um, he running the metal detectors for people entering the building to say keep an appointment at a senator's office or for other business. I've been in there, the lobby senators. Also, in 2007, we had several anti-war demonstrations, and sometimes he was part of the security keeping us safe. Back in those days, people might flip you the bird for it. Um, tall, slender man with gray hair and a really nice smile, and I cried that day. <laughs> and I still feel bad, and it's probably one of the reasons I, I come out here. I'm sorry. No, okay. Sorry for doing that. But Stan Cooper deserves to be remembered. There is a street named after him. And we deserve to uh, continue this fight in his name. <laughs> 